day nine. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe today is day nine. Okay, so it is about four o'clock in the afternoon and I this is the first thing I filmed for today. I was at work all morning and pretty much the Daddy. most of this afternoon. I got home around uh, almost three. So I am home now from work and I've got a laundry list of items to do, including laundry, <laughs> sure enough. Okay, so I think Jeremy and I are going to try to squeeze in a walk tonight and I feel like we do that. He's going to run and I'm going to walk with the boys. It's 64 outside. He's at the running store right now and taking forever. So I'm needing him to, to hurry it up so that we can go out for a walk while we still have some daylight because the sun's going to set here in about 15 minutes. It's going to start setting. So the temperature is going to drop and I just have to do a mile tonight and he has to do three. So we could probably get it done around the same time, but I'll be taking the boys with me. They have been sick, but today they turned a corner and they are feeling much better. I think they were starting to feel a tad bit better yesterday, but for sure by today, no fevers, just in better spirits. So, and they took really great naps today. So I'm really happy that that has worked out for Jeremy because Jeremy stayed home with them this weekend. Okay. So as you can see back here, I have my tripod set up. I'm about to be the most vulnerable I've ever been on this vlog. It's only, you know, nine days old, but <laughs> my room is an utter disaster. It's so disorganized in here and I just cannot think straight. So Jeremy just texted me. He's checking out. So we'll see him here in a couple minutes, but so I'm going to go ahead and see how much I can get picked up before Jeremy gets here and then we're going to pack up the boys and head out. I think we're just going to, I don't know, we might try to go to the park we went to last week. We'll see. I haven't done any physical activity this week except for the week a week ago when we went for that two and something, almost three mile walk. So, okay, you guys ready? I'm so embarrassed. I'm going to put you on the tripod. I'm not going to zoom in on any sort and okay. certain part, but I'm, I am going to first start off with my bed, make my bed. That's what I'm going to do. All right, let's go. So Jeremy just got home and um, I did pretty much as much as I could do. It feels a lot better in here. So Jeremy's playing with, or had Jeremy, Jason, this is Jason. He's playing with the radio. So I'm going to go ahead and go and get these boys ready. For All right. Why are you putting the camera on my face? Because I want you to show, show oh. them what you got. So I went to my local running store because I needed a new pair of running shoes for longer distances because the Saucony Endorphin Speeds that I have um, don't agree with my feet at long distances. So they're now becoming a speed and tempo shoe. But I got some new shoes here and um, Jason, don't push your brother. And then they also had buy three pairs of socks, get one free. So I got me two pairs of socks and Valerie two pairs of socks. So she got two pairs of Belegas. <laughs> Okay, I have a question. Answer. You got the same kind for you. Mine are bigger though. Okay, are we gonna be able to tell them apart? Yeah, mine are Also, bigger. I have black ones too. Oh, those are blue, those okay. Are blue. And then I got me a pair of Belegas in the same color, and then I got some features. That oh, I actually like features too. They're a little bit taller. Yeah. But anyways, I got Let's see them. these. Valerie has not seen these yet. I haven't. Oh no, am I gonna? Ooh. So this is the Hoka Rencon 2. Ooh, I like them. Um, I have, hold on one second. Oh, pause. Let's look at them. All right, those are nice. Oh, and they're pretty light. I like that. Oh, this is a fun little detail. That's fun. I like them. 
Okay. Okay, resume. So right. my, my trail running shoe is yes. the Hoka Speed Goat 4, and I absolutely oh. love these. I have about 50 miles in them, and I love them. Um, neutral max cushion. Um, this is a neutral medium cushion. Okay. Um, I had a different model. I had the Clifton 7 that I was really looking at by yeah. doing online research, and I got in there, and it just did not agree with my foot. My yeah. biggest thing was my foot rolled over the side mm, yeah which is not not comfortable and they didn't have my size so i tried on i wear a 12 i tried an 11 and a half mm -hmm. and then i tried a 12 and a half nice um in the clifton but these just felt right All and right. these are two really light shoes obviously the trail speed goat four the trail shoe has a more aggressive tread on the bottom right and this is a foam versus a uh like an EVA rubberized bottom. Okay. Um, the only thing the guy told me at the store was I was also looking at the Softany Triumph. Um, I'm only gonna get probably three to 350 miles in the in these versus the other shoes I was looking at was like a 450, 475 to 500 mile shoe. What happened to Brooks? Um, I tried on some glycerins and some ghosts and I just didn't like them. Nope. I right. really wanted to like Brooks, but um, yeah, these were just the winners. Nice. And I don't hate the colors. No, I don't hate them either. I like so, them. Yeah. Fun. All right. Yeah. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Hey. Okay. We're out for our walk in just our cute little neighborhood over here. Um, a lot of people are out because the weather is nice again. It is 60. Oh, it's 62. I think it got up to 66 earlier this afternoon. So anyway, um, yeah, so uh, I'm just gonna do a mile today and I'll, we'll have a nice little break halfway because the park is about half a mile away from the house. So, um, and that's where Jeremy will meet us and then he'll walk back with us. So um, I brought my jacket for when the sun fully sets and it's getting a little chilly. The boys are already in jackets. Um, I think it's gonna do them really good to get some fresh air. So anyway, come walk with me. All right, there you have it. 1.26 miles took me 37 or 27 minutes so um and then we decided focus thank you we decided to go ahead and do chipotle for dinner so we put in the chipotle order and jeremy's gonna go get it so easy peasy for me um i did take some chicken out to defrost so i gotta swap around my meal plan so I can make chicken tomorrow so that's what all we're right doing. so we're watching um our church does a conference at the first of the year and um, it's called first conference well you know shocker <laughs> and um anyway so we're it's online this year so we're watching it while we eat dinner so i got a burrito bowl focus and it's with a bunch of veggies and chicken and brown rice and um I have a, uh, guacamole hudson or jason has a quesadilla Hudson is chowing down on a tortilla. <laughs> you need some help, dude? I could tear that up for you, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think I could take it away, though. Oh, you're going to let me? Okay. Please hold. And while she does that, I have a burrito bowl with brown rice, carne asada, salsa, cheese, and sour cream. It's pretty yummy. Yay, Chipotle. I haven't had it in such a long time. I'm really excited. Okay, I'm taking over the Valerie's vlog for a little bit because Jason, here I'll show you. Hopefully the TV's not too loud. Jason pulled on this stocking and this little weighted thing hit him in the head and he started to bleed. Sorry, I'm going back over here to the kitchen. And so he started to bleed on his head. So Valerie got a wet paper towel, put it on his head. And all of a sudden, I go over and I get my flashlight and I look at it and she's like, nah. 
Uh -huh. She's like, I can do vomit, I can do poop, pee, but blood. Uh -huh. <laughs> so she, Jason wanted to see his cut, and so she's over there. She's holding Jason, and so she's doing this while holding Jason. <laughs> I have my phone and my flashlight, and I show him the picture, and she's like, uh, uh. <laughs> okay. So I'm doing laundry in our laundry room. It's um, not the prettiest laundry room, but it'll do. Um, anyway, I have a little helper, and it was super cute. So I was putting clothes into the dryer, and he came and took the little... I emptied it already, so it doesn't have any lint on it, but he comes and helps me and he presses little buttons, like that one that turns off the light. Oh, did you forget about it? That's it. I did it. He's so cute. Daddy. Yeah, look. <laughs> anyway, I think it's super adorable. Sometimes Jason will come and help me put the clothes in the, wa in the dryer, too. <laughs> okay, hey, so it's loud in my laundry room, but I wanted to show you this hack that I learned from a fellow YouTuber, Blair Lamb. Um, she used to have, I think her branding was called Blair Blogs, but she's changed it to Blair Lamb or Blair Lamb Designs. Anyway, she's literally giving me life these days and I enjoy her channel so much, but she was doing a laundry hack and I didn't even know that my laundry machine could do this. So let me show you. Okay. So, um, right now it's kind of hard to tell because it's very, very bright. I guess it's not going to focus for me. Um, right now you can see I have blankets, the ones that we got for Christmas. Um, and some other ones, since the boys have been sick and they're feeling better, I wanted to go ahead and wash the living room blankets right now. So I have it on bedding, because it's a bunch of blankets, and it's counting down from nine hours. So nine hours from now, I hit the delayed start and kept hitting it until it went to nine hours. And now it's just counting down, and the soap and everything is in there, ready to go. I had no idea that my washer machine can do it. So now, these will, wa oops, sorry. So now these will wash at like 6 a.m. and then I can wake up in the morning and put them in the dryer and that way they're not gonna wash tonight and sit in the washer all night. Who knew? The more you know. So there you go. There you have it. Passing one life hack to another. Passing this life hack on to you. There we go. Alright. Um, okay, this is probably very distracting with the dryer so I'm gonna go.